Earth. What is the shape of the Earth? From space, clearly a uh, nice sphere. But as we zoom in, we see complicated textures on the surface of the Earth. Geomorphology is about what causes those textures. Geomorphology is about how it's possible that the Appalachian Mountains were once as tall as the Himalayas. They were worn down by water and gravity, weathered and eroded over millions and millions of years, their youthful jagged peaks reduced to rubble and soil. Only their innermost cores now remain. And it's not just water that wears down mountains. Ten thousand years ago, New England was covered with one thousand meters of ice that oozed like megatons of cold silly putty, studded with rocks, gouging valleys, and molding hills. These same kinds of processes we see happening today in more northern climates. Zooming in, we see this oozing sheet of ice grinding its way through the mountain valleys. The vast sheets of ice that covered New England terminated just off the coast of Connecticut. And as they melted there at the terminus, they deposited a pile of sediment we call Long Island. Today, the coast of Long Island is shaped not by glaciers, but by currents and waves that stretch the sediments into long, straight, or cuspate landforms. And the meandering forms of the Quinnebog River floodplains in Connecticut, the branching forms of its tributaries, echo every river in the world. The wind-shaped dunes of the Sahara Desert, those shapes are echoed even off the planet. Victoria Crater on Mars. If we zoom into Victoria Crater, made famous, of course, one of the rovers. You can see the red path there of one of the Mars rovers. But look at the dune shapes inside of the crater. Uh, same processes at work there. And these are similar, again, um, the, the processes that form this crater are common to Earth. Meteor Crater in Arizona. See, the forces are the same, so the shapes are the same. The landscapes of Earth, a balance of interplaying forces, ever-changing like candle flames. This summer, you'll have a chance to explore the forces that form the beautiful landscapes of Earth and Mars using the power of Google Earth and the Internet for six weeks. Geomorphology Online at EO Smith.